Welcome back to my channel and a big hello to any new faces who may have clicked on today's video. My name is Hannah and today we're going to be talking all about at home IPL and I'm going to be sharing with you my current results. So we've got before and after and growth progress video and pictures just so you guys can actually physically see what the hair growth is like, not just like a freshly shaved armpit. I can't stand when brands do before and after photos and it's literally just like a freshly shaved armpit. Like that's great. A freshly shaved armpit obviously looks hair free, but what does it look like after like four days of growth? That's what I want to know. So that is what I have done in today's video. I've been tracking like a week's worth of underarm hair growth after like I've done about six to seven sessions of my laser. Um, so before I get into the actual details, the before and afters, because I'm sure you guys really only care about the before and afters. There are some things though that I just feel like I need to preface. Is that the word? Stipulate little, give a little PSA on. Um, so I'm just going to quickly ramble through those and then we'll get in to the nitty gritty and the armpit shots. <laughs> so the first thing I want to make super crystal clear is that body hair is a totally normal, natural thing. So we all have it. It doesn't matter what your gender is, none of that. It doesn't discriminate. We all have body hair. So depending on your genetics and likely your ethnicity will depend on what your body hair is typically like. Some people are born genetically with very thin, fine, light colored body hair. Some people have thicker, darker, coarser body hair. And then you have every single type of body hair in between as well. Literally, we all have it. And there's nothing wrong with having body hair. I want you guys to know that me making this video is not me telling you you need to remove your body hair. It is a personal choice. Your body is your body and you have to do whatever feels right and comfortable for you. So if you want to leave your body hair alone, leave it alone. You don't have to feel weird about it. If you want to remove it, you also don't have to feel weird about it and there are solutions to remove it. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to hair removal. I'm simply just like a regular consumer sharing my experiences online. So please know I am not a specialist. I have no qualifications or expertise in IPL or laser treatments. I've personally never had in salon laser either. I've only ever done at home IPL treatments with this particular device. Now, for those who don't know what IPL is, it's high intensity light pulses and it's actually attracted to the pigment of your hair follicle. So it helps to actually deactivate the hair follicle, which is what helps to prevent hair growth, slows down hair growth, all that type of thing. Um, I don't know exactly what the difference is between IPL and in salon lasers. From my understanding, in salon lasers are a lot stronger, which means you're going to get quicker results than what you would with at home IPL. These still definitely work. I believe it's still technically the same science. It's just not as strong at home versus in salon, if that makes sense. And like I said, I've never had any in salon lasers, so I can't personally compare my experience to professional grade laser treatments. So the hands that I use is from a company called Brooklyn Body Co. Now I'm actually not sure if this company even exists anymore. I checked their Instagram and they haven't posted since 2019. I tried to contact them a couple of times, I got no response and they don't have any devices for sale on their website. So I'm leading to the conclusion they no longer exist but I have seen so many brands literally with handsets that look identical. I'm assuming they probably are. So with these type of products, usually they're mass manufactured by like a manufacturing company and brands can literally buy them and have their own logo stamped on it. So I have seen a very similar device that I'm pretty sure is exactly the same from another company called, I think it's like Silky Skin Co or something. So I'm going to link that one in the description box. I'm like 99% sure it'd be the exact same thing, but obviously I haven't tried theirs. So I can't 100% with certainty see certainty, certainty say, but I'm pretty sure it is. So I actually received my device back in May, 2019. I was very kindly gifted it via the brand and I started using it straight away. I think I did four sessions and in those four sessions, I noticed results. The biggest thing I noticed was that just the hair, the, the speed of the hair growth slowed. And I felt like the texture of my hair 
was really getting thinner and it was like the hair was becoming more fine. So um, that was great. But then I stopped using it because I literally forgot that I even had it. I put it away one day, I put it in my cupboard and then I just forgot about it. And I'm kicking myself because I've had such great results now. I just wish I had kept up it originally and I would have had like no hair at this point in time. But anyway, that's fine. So I did the four sessions, forgot about it. By January 2020, my hair was back in full swing. So with In Salon Laser, I believe it's no different as with at home IPL, you need to do maintenance sessions in between completing your actual treatment. So with these, I believe they recommend 12 sessions in total over like a six month period. So every two weeks doing a little zapparoonie, which it literally takes like five minutes. So it's not like it's hard to do. I just forgot about it. The whole reason why I opted for like at home IPL over in Salon Laser was for the convenience of being able to do it like whenever I had time to, and then I still didn't make time for it, but I have been, I have been this year, um, which is why I'm making this video now. So I haven't completed the full 12 sessions. I think I'm up to seven sessions. So if you're someone who has like like a, light, a fair, light or medium complexion, but you also have fair colored hair, it will not work on your hair type just because hair actually needs to have some pigmentation to it. And if you're someone who has a darker complexion, even if you have dark hair as well, it also won't work because there needs to be a contrast in the hair pigmentation versus the skin pigmentation. So if you're unsure if you fall into like a safe category to do at home IPL, I would suggest just going straight to a professional, having a consultation and making sure you get it done safely because you, oh, imagine if you hurt yourself, like it'd be horrible. So please just keep that in mind. Um, not everyone, unfortunately, can have laser treatments. So my armpits have always been a source of insecurity for me. So ever since I was a kid, I played basketball all throughout um, school and I used to love basketball, but obviously when you wear basketball singlets, your armpits are exposed and when you constantly got your arms up playing basketball, it was like a love-hate relationship. So even up until literally January, um, when I'd shave, no joke, five hours later, I'd have bloody stubble. Like that's how crazy my underarm hair is. And it's in like such a large circumference. So like it covers a really large area of my armpit, which used to just shit me to tears. But it is what it is. That's just genetics for you. So um, I used to actually put foundation on my armpits when I play basketball. So before I go, I put foundation on to try and like hide like that five o'clock shadow pigmentation that you could see under the skin because I'm so fair in complexion with dark underarm hair. It's just like when you shave, you can still see the hair under the skin, even if it's like soft as a baby's bum. So January 2020 came around and I was actually in town with my sister and my nephews and we we're getting some sushi and I was wearing a singlet top and we're standing in line and my little nephew looks up at me, Riley, and he said, Auntie Hannah, what's that under your arms? What's that black stuff? And I, kid you not, I died on the inside. I was like, it's nothing, Bubba, don't worry about it. And he's like, yeah, but Auntie Hannah, you got black stuff under there. Um, <sighs> I just, I just hate my underarms. I literally came home that night and I took pictures of my armpits. So the before pictures you're going to see is actually only two days after shaving and girl, I just can't believe my armpit hair. It's just, it's amazing. So I personally have not had total hair removal with this yet. I still do get armpit hair, but when you see the side by sides, you guys will see that the actual like volume of hair that's growing back and the thickness and also the rate in which it grows back is like literally nothing like what it was before. So keep in mind, I've done seven of the 12 treatments. I will do an update video when I've completed the full 12 treatments to let you guys know what's happening with the armpit situation. Um, I can't believe I'm about to put my hairy armpits on the internet, but here we are. Um, I hope it's helpful. Um, I wish I had had the foresight with my before footage to actually document a full week's worth of growth from shaving to day five, but I didn't, and I'm so sorry about that. I hope you guys trust my credibility and believe me when I say that my before footage is actually two days post shaving it's crazy, I know, but like my armpits are literally that of a wildebeest. So the before footage is two days after shaving and my after footage I have documented from like day of freshly shaven to day five of hair growth because it is such a massive improvement. I can't imagine going back to having like 
crazy wildebeest armpits ever again now that I've experienced like this massive reduction in my armpit hair. It honestly makes me so happy and I feel much more secure in myself and like my nephews are not gonna call me out for having hairy armpits ever again. I haven't actually explored the bikini line and the legs yet, but I think I'm going to because now that I know it 110% actually does work with my armpits, I think I'm definitely gonna take it around the rest of my body. <laughs> and give myself a going over head to toe. Here is a little demo on how simple it is to do your at-home IPL. You just want to make sure you're freshly showered, scrub off all your fake tan, and freshly shave any areas you're going to be administering the IPL treatment to. The handset is super basic. It just simply plugs into power, and then it has an on and off button on the back. This button also controls the intensity of your setting. So I started off on level two, but now I do full intensity, and it doesn't hurt at all. So you simply just pass it over the skin, making sure you don't pass over the same spot more than twice. And as you administer the actual IPL, when the light goes off, you just feel like a sudden rush of warmth. It doesn't actually hurt. I was so scared when I first used it, but it really does not hurt at all. And you just pass over the area where you want to zap away the hair and that's it. It's that simple. It literally takes me like two minutes to do. So I feel like I've covered the main gist of what I wanted to touch on today. I really just wanted to show you guys my side by side before and afters just because I've had so many DMs regarding at home IPL. And um, I know lots of you guys are looking for alternatives because unfortunately like our favorite salons currently can't provide service because they're all closed. And like I was saying before, you need to maintain your laser and your IPL with maintenance sessions. So I think a lot of people are looking at this as an alternative right now just because who knows when you're going to be able to get to a salon again if you have any questions at all regarding this topic feel free to leave them below and I'll definitely comment back to you guys and then any um, questions that maybe need a little bit more explaining I can definitely cover in my update video too um, it might be a little bit more thought out the update video I'll try and make sure I get all the facts and all the info and I'll probably dot point everything down so I know what to cover. Um, today's video, I've just been going off like the top of my head, like my verbal diarrhea coming from my brain out of my mouth. Um, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it was entertaining. Um, I still can't believe I showed my hairy armpits on the internet. Um, I'm sure 95% of us are friends and like, you know, you're just happy for me. You don't judge my hairy armpits. And for the 5% that are going to judge my hairy armpits, that's all I have to say. Uh, so give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Leave your comments below. Subscribe if you're a new face and you haven't subscribed yet. And um, yeah, I'll be talking to you guys in the comments and in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.